Hey everybody, how you doing today? This is Troy, and this is my video training diary as I get back into uh, the sport of triathlon after a 12 or so year layoff and in my early 50s, or mid 50s actually, 53. Does that count as early 50s or mid 50s? I guess that's kind of mid 50s now. Jeez, wow. Anyway, life goes on. Um, I haven't worked out yet today. It's actually been a really busy day, and this is a busy week. Uh, as some of you know, I, I don't, well, I do coach some athletes still, and I'm actually doing a training camp in Tucson again after uh, we did 18 years in a row, and then we had a couple of year layoff, but we're back into doing the camps, and um, I'm really looking forward to that. And I still coach a few athletes, and I, you know, enjoy that too, and I want to get back into that a little bit more. But as some of you know, I'm here in my office, the, my um, Leadership Academy. I do uh, executive coaching and business consulting now and have for several years and <clears throat> have a, uh, a group of CEOs I work with here in Tucson and I have clients around the country. So um, it's kind of parlaying my small business ownership skills and then going to work for Lifetime, which is a big company and got to lead a team. And, you know, uh, the coaching, it's always been in my wheelhouse. I've always loved helping people optimize their performance, whether it's an athlete or a business owner. So that's where I landed or why I landed as an executive coach and business consultant. Um, but again, I really love it. Um, so today I just want to say, again, I haven't trained yet, but I will this afternoon. Yesterday, though, I got on the bike and uh, put in a solid 40 minutes on the stages bike. So here's what's happening. That 90 RPM cadence is getting really easy. You know, it's just becoming really smooth and steady for me which I'm happy about. So I'm um, really getting to that point where it, at first it was a little bit of a struggle, you know, it wasn't comfortable, but now 90, 92 RPMs holding 230 ish Watts without that much of an issue or problem or strain. Um, it's becoming comfortable again to do that. And I need to get it back up. Uh, I'd like to get it back up in the two fifties to 300 Watts at that same level of, uh, ease, I guess you could say, but that'll take a little while. And I'm trying not to compare myself to where I was several years ago, because that's a slippery slope and that's a little dangerous. I'm trying to accept, you know, the fact I've been out of the game, but also the aging thing. So uh, it's kind of tough, but I think I'm doing it. Um, anyway, in my executive coaching practice, we talk a lot about living a high performance life. So I actually have my uh, members or my clients do the wheel of life, which you might be familiar with. Um, anyway, what you do is you rank different areas of your life, like growth, finances, relationships, physical health and body, and all these different things. And um, now that I've gotten back into triathlon training, I'm definitely ranking myself higher in the physical health and body piece because I'm starting to feel stronger. So it's kind of interesting how the additional, you know, it's time, it's a time commitment, right? But um, you know how that when you're investing in yourself, right, you're putting energy into making yourself better, um, that kind of bleeds into other areas of your life, you feel better about other things too. Because uh, when you feel physically stronger, and your um, self esteem goes up, um, your confidence goes up, all these different things happen when you invest in yourself. So, uh, you know, it's a lesson that I try to tell my clients and certainly it's so true when it comes to um, athletic performance. You know, it's not about the outcome, it's about the process. And the process is about getting out there every day or almost every day, being consistent with your training, having a plan, sticking to the plan, um, the best you can, you know, you have that fudge factor. I, you know, I used to say the 10% rule, you know, if you're going to miss a workout, you can miss up to 10% of your workouts, but beyond that, then you're kind of letting yourself down. So there's still this, you know, sense of discipline you need to have, but every once in a while you need to give yourself a break and give yourself a little bit of grace. You know, if you do miss a workout or a particularly hard session or whatever it may be, but uh, I'm trying to deploy that now in my comeback as I get back into the training thing and uh, not being so harsh on myself because I remember many years ago when I was really serious about it, boy, you know, 
very rarely did I miss scheduled workouts, especially quality workouts. But if I did or I had to, it really made me upset to the point where it's probably a little bit unhealthy. Um, of course, that's the sometimes the issue with uh, training for these types of events. Um, you can go a little bit overboard at times. And if you're a, an Ironman athlete, you know what I mean. So anyway, keeping that balance in life and looking at your wheel of life and doing this exercise every once in a while would probably be a really good idea to make sure you are maintaining that balance. And if you have any questions of what that looks like or you'd like a copy of it, just let me know and I'll be happy to send that to you. Uh, today's workout, I have planned a short run, probably three miles on the road. Got a new pair of running shoes, the first pair of running shoes I've had in a couple of years, a pair of Brooks. Uh, so I'm looking forward to running in those on the road and then probably hop on the uh, stages, stationary bike again for half an hour or 45 minutes, depending on my time because I am wrapping things up here at work soon. And then I have a full day strategic planning session with a client that I'm facilitating tomorrow. So still some preparation for that. So uh, that's my story. Thanks for listening. If you have any comments or uh, want to give me some advice, I can use it. I'm growth minded and I need to hear some advice. Thank you. Have a great night.